guys welcome back to my channel how are you if it's your first time here welcome thank you so much for being here and watching this video today so today I just wanted to show you just before I do the pour um, a couple of paintings I did yesterday these are supposedly kiss pour paintings but um, I had moved the canvas around a bit and I add a lot of silicone um, they, this started off as um, chameleon cells, and overnight when I woke up, it turned out like this. But I swear I love this. I mean, I love chameleon cells. Uh, this is a 10 by 20 canvas, so I'll just put it down for a second to see how big it is. I mean, this is like my neon pink dream. This is so cool. They're like veins going through this whole canvas. I know some people, you know, they don't um, like uh, texture in their painting. They want it very smooth. Um, this is still shiny. I haven't wiped off any silicone or anything. Um, but I actually don't mind texture in the paintings. Sometimes I just like it, you know, smooth uh, for certain types of pores. But I love this. I was going to turn, um, because it's a, a little bigger canvas, um, I'm going to turn the paint around. Here we go. Let me see. And here, that's the other end of it. I just fell in love with this, and I just wanted to share this with you. Um, and there are three more paintings. Oh, no, actually, I want to show you the how the one I made um, actually is going up today. I did it yesterday, but the video just went up today, um, Thursday. So hold on. Let me get these other paintings. And so here is, I guess, what would look like more of a typical uh, kiss pour. That actually came out pretty good. I would really like that. Let me zoom on that. Here you go. Uh, I did add, I think I added a little flow troll to this one. That's why there's some cells. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any because of the, um, the artist loft paint really does not create cells. So let's see if that focuses a little better. That's going to be my new nickname, Focus, because every time I do a video now, I say focus, focus to this camera. So that's that one. And here's another one. It started off as a kiss pour, but the, the paint actually tried using glue as my medium in some of the paints. And it was too fluid, like way too fluid. So it didn't hold any line, but I tried to make the painting work anyway. Um, and I didn't wipe off any silicone because uh, I added the chameleon cells again. I'm going crazy with the chameleon cells, but this is how it dried. I mean, again, a lot of people don't like texture because this has a lot, I don't know if you can see that, See, it has a lot of texture in there. I really don't mind it. I really, um, sometimes I like texture in my painting. It makes it interesting. You know, it all depends on what you like uh, for yourself as an artist, you know. Um, again, sometimes I just like it very smooth and, you know, I don't like cracks or anything. You know, I get mad when it dries messed up because sometimes it pours beautifully. And then when it dries, it dries uh, real, you know, cracked and crazy. But I like this one too. And then this is how the one uh, that I poured, that's up uh, Thursday's video, which just went up today. Actually, I did, I videotaped it yesterday, but I uploaded it today. So this is how this one dried. It's pretty smooth. There's a little bit of texture in it, but not much. So this is how this one dried. So, you know, for just a few um, kiss pours, you know, not so bad. I mean, like I said, they always, you know, practice makes perfect or close to it. And, um, 
you know, it depends what you like. If you like the painting and you're enjoying, the most important thing really is having fun. You know, having fun, experimenting. Uh, this is why I leaned more towards fluid art because I saw it in my other types of work. Um, I was just leaning more towards that fluidity in the paint. And this is why I gravitate towards fluid art. Um, because I've done everything, sculpture and photography and lithography and, you know, lots of drawing and a lot of abstract art, but not necessarily fluid art. Um, but this is why I really gravitate towards it because my f two favorite uh, things really are science and art. And this really, the, these techniques and this way of painting really encompasses you know, art and science because it has to do with temperature and chemicals and mixing, um, you know, different uh, things and different chemicals and the paints and the pigments. So um, this is why I personally love fluid art and I hope you enjoy it too. So up next, um, I have not decided I may do a colander pour with the last thing I bought from the dollar store video, uh, that big white colander, I may do that. Or I may do a, a traveling cup, or I guess an open cup pour. And that's something else I haven't done a lot of. So you'll be surprised, just like I will. Okay, so thanks. I just wanted to share this with you. And I will see you in a minute. Bye. Hey guys, so before we get started with the actual pour, I just wanted to show you a little bit what I am using today. So first of all, um, I literally got this at 8.30 in the morning, the Sargent um, Art Pouring Medium. It's supposed to be glossy, so here it is. There you go. Um, never used it before, so I wanted to, to try it out. Um, so, these are the paints we're going to be using. This is the Artist Loft, the regular Artist Loft, not the pre-mixed, in a tube. Uh, black. Um, the Color Shift paint. In, uh, this is the Red Flash. Let's see, get a little, there we go. The Arteza, um, here we go, Rose Matter, yep, that's focusing, and let's see, the, this is Pearl Pink Tulip, let's see if that focuses, but it's Pearl Pink Tulip, in the Arteza tubes, and this is what? Pearl Rose Quartz. I love this color. Ah, focusing. Beautiful. All right. So, and let's see what else. So, in the mixture, I have the pouring medium. I have some water in this um, little dirty plastic green uh, container, squeeze bottle. And I'm also going to be using some regular white. Um, the I know it's filthy, sorry. Um, the Arslof Premix paint. I'm probably going to put that around the edges. So sometimes if you don't pour enough paint, you can actually uh, pour paint around. When you actually do the pour, you could pour um, like white or any other color you want, really, um, around it and it stretches the paint out. So if I don't have enough paint, um, but I'm, I'm using an eight uh, by 10, so I should have enough paint. So these are my colors mixed. Here's the black. This is the red flash, the uh, folk art color shift paint. That is gorgeous, the rose matter. And that is the uh, pearl pink tulip right here. And this is the Pearl Rose Quartz. That's so pretty. I love the Arteza, um, all the metallics. I got that set as well. So 
that's what I'm going to be using today. And no, that's not a fire. That is a candle. And I'm going to be doing a colander pour with this uh, big white colander. I really like the pattern on this, so I'm going to try that. Um, this is actually the last thing um, that I bought at the Dollar Tree when I uh, did that video, and I'll link it in the little card above. Alrighty, so up next I'm going to do a colander pour, and I will see you in a minute.
hope you enjoyed it. This came out really pretty. I love the black and the white and the contrast in here. Um, all these different rose colors work, I think, you know, in my opinion, <laughs> work really well uh, together. The black, the white, and all the different roses. Um, it looks like there's any, a little bit of purple that we got mixed in, you know, with the different colors mixed in together. Um, the sergeant pouring medium. There was a little cell um, formation here, but not much. It's another... Um, pouring medium that really doesn't create much cells. So far the Floetrol um, works best just like, you know, without having to add any silicone like with cell formation. But I like this little area here. It's really pretty. I think it came out nice. I'm going to give you a little close-up. I'm just going to raise this up a little bit. There you go. And there is, yeah, I really like that. I knew I would like this calendar. Um, I just love the uh, pattern it made, this kind of a little bit of a, a flower pattern here. I thought that was kind of pretty. Yeah, that really, that pattern in the calendar really, like, attracted me to it. And it was a dollar from Dollar Tree. So, you know what? You can't go wrong. Sometimes you find things that, you know, you never thought you would find. Um, and they're really not that expensive. So, you know, it's great to experiment. So thank you so, so much, guys, for joining me today. I really appreciate you um, joining me and watching if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining and welcome. And thanks to everyone who continues to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. So if you would like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave me a little like, and uh, leave a comment. Uh, anyone who's been commenting knows I respond. So I'd love to talk to you guys. And thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.